activity it's like uh, changing training uh, I mean by that like doing many sports for the training on the ice or, or inline skating I like to be on the bike on a road bike uh, mountain bike cross-country ski uh, alpine ski like many things and for me it's like really important to improve a lot of sports to be good on the ice and when you were younger you were also doing a lot of different sports or you were focusing more on the ice when you were younger and just to change your mind you go more on different sports now i change a lot when i was young uh, i was only on the ice like twice a day all year long and it was around four hours on the ice every day every day and when i was not on the ice i was doing some dry down training weight training uh, Weight, uh, weightlifting training, like only things around skating and around dry land. So it was a bit boring finally. Now for me it's boring, but at this time it was like normal for me. And I think I had to do that because now I'm like old sportsman and all of this will build me to be like a good skater now or try to be good. <laughs> You skate uh, Rolation last weekend. What does a uh, hundred k on inline skate bring you for the ice at this moment of the year? At this moment of the, of the year, it's, for me, it's like really important to improve the aerobic training. Is that in English? I'm not sure. Uh, so that the really long uh, sports session, like on a bike and or in uh, inline skating. And uh, I like to be on the race because I, 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 I can mix the the race feeling and the training feeling on the summer so the rollathlon like 100k was really really good for that i spent three hours with my friends on the inline and at the end you can have some uh, race feeling because you have to sprint you have to try to win which i was not good this weekend but i tried it and i tried it but it was really fun and uh, i loved it when you skate like when we train in a set on the cycling path what are you thinking te technically? What are you, your focus when you when we skate like this? Technically, I was focused on just try to be good on the weight transfer, like to don't use so much my muscle, but use only a physical part of the skating, like change the weight on the right and on the left. But on the first time on the inline for me was uh, last week for this summer, so I was not really good. But this, uh, this uh, yesterday, this weekend, I start to to find my, my uh, to find back my my feeling on the inline and start again to do what I said transfer the weight and that's really important for me for the for the ice. That's the one of the secret to be good on the ice. You mean like if people don't use the body weight transferred? You mean they have like no chance to be good in skating, or? Yeah, in my in my mind, yeah. Even if you can like I don't know, uh, pull up like 200k in weightlifting or something like that, you can have like huge muscle. If you don't transfer your weight body, your body weight, you have to transfer it. If you don't do that, pretty sure you you cannot be good. And I'm sure it's really important for ice in line and in many sports like even in ski, in uh, windsurf and everything. The secret is you have to, to play with the, the physical things and play with your weight on the, on the left, your balance weight, I mean. So, so it's more about focusing on good technique than only training out of the muscles. You need both, I would say, yeah. but the technique would be uh, in skating a big secret. Yeah, definitely, yeah. You have to... Uh, you need to train for sure, but you need to find to be good with with using less energy. Like the the best sportsmen, they are kind of lazy because you have to do it with less energy than your than your what than your friends or than your teammate or your or the guys on the race. Okay, and when you so when you compete like a thousand meter on short track. From the start of the race, you focus more on. You also focus on saving energy from the start, or on the tactic, or straight from the start. Or what's the main focus when you race, actually? Actually, in a thousand meter in uh, on the ice, it's like around one minute 
25 around, that's the time on the, for the race. So that's really short. And the point is you have to keep energy until you, you try one thing. Actually, we, we are, what I said is you have only one chance now on, uh, on short track skating, you have only one chance to move. So you have to do it on the right, uh, on the right moment and do it like with the good abilities to do because it's like really dangerous to get penalty on the ice. It's really easy. So you have to be really clean and do it, do your move on the right moment. That's really difficult sometimes. Even after like like me, like 15 years on the ice, even sometimes I'm doing like some bullshit. It happens. Yeah, it makes me remember when uh, the thousand meter on the inline on the track. Uh, what you say it's a little bit similar to what Gwendal Le Piver is doing when he race. He's also like kind of waiting in some way. And he, he one action that is very strong in the race. Yeah, yeah. It's like you have to be efficient, like 100%. If you do something, you have to do it until the end. Don't try like some easy passing and finally you don't pass. You go, you go behind. It's like trying to pass going like from the fourth position, going outside, staying around third or second position and finally saying, thinking, okay, okay, it's too hard. I go back on the last position of the pack and that's, for me, that's a really, really big mistake to do that because you use a lot of energy for nothing. Sometimes if you are really strong, you can do it because it's like a strategy. You can do it to make your, I like to be your friends, you, uh, to say your friends. Uh, so you, you can do it to, to make like a lot of trouble in the race and going back again and trying again. But you have, I think you have to think about everything before. But the, the best way is to, uh, using one, one action, one success is better.